please welcome bronze medalist Harry Garson. Yay! <laughs> hey, young guys. Hey, congratulations. First question, why do they call you Dirty Harry? Great question. I think there is a sexual connotation to that one, so I won't get too far into it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, when I was a bit younger, I was a little bit of a deviant, I'll say. <laughs> hey, Harry, Harry, congratulations on the bronze. Thank you so much for joining us. All of Australia are, are wrapped with your performance. Great to have you on the show because for the last couple of weeks, Mel's been banging on about New Zealand medalists. Um, she she said she wasn't impressed by your boxing I bronze did not medal. Say that. I did not. Please don't find yeah. me, Dirty Harry. Uh. <laughs> Have you got a message for Mel, Harry? It's a tough crowd out there, but uh, let's be realistic. Um, New Zealand's beat Australia in the rugby for the past 300 years. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's true. Um, hey, look, Harry, it was your Olympic debut. How does it feel to win a bronze medal on debut? Yeah, it's pretty special, mate. Um, yeah, it was. it's something that you dream about. Obviously, you want that gold medal. That's what we train for. But all in all, I've got a lot to learn, a lot to, like, I learned a lot from this experience. But 2024, I really want to be the Australia's first Olympic gold medalist. So let's hope I can change the colour. Australia's first Olympic gold medalist. I've got a little bit of a... Um, we've won, you've won quite a few golds already. <laughs> in, in 17 boxing. these Olympics. Yeah, right, right, right. Harry, you don't have to take that from Mel. Um... <laughs> If you two got in the ring, what? <laughs> how do you think? How do you think Mel would go in the ring with you, Harry? I actually think pretty well, pretty well. We might have to get a little bit jelly, jelly wrestling potentially. Cool. <laughs> okay, Jenny, Harry, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> what is? Well, I'm quite tall. What? How tall are you? <laughs> Uh, 178. I'm not 178. sure what that is. In I'm I'm 185, so I think I could probably just do one of these guys uh, <laughs> on your knee to just let you swing. Um, I didn't. This is a very laboured joke, but I'm going to try it. Um, well, won't be the last. Yeah. <laughs> so you and your brother um, both have worked as plumbers. Um, when you got the medal, did you go? Da -da -da -da? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> That's exactly what yeah, I did. Exactly. I, I've come dressed as Luigi tonight as well, so I thought it was only fitting. Hey, Harry, just getting back to the boxing, you won gold at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. How does this one compare? Uh, the Olympics has always been the dream. So the day after I woke up after the Commonwealth Games gold was changed my phone background to Tokyo 2020. Uh, so it's always been the Olympics, and, and unfortunately I didn't get that gold medal. But as I said, I learned a lot from it, and... Uh, I hope leading into the 2032 Brisbane Olympics that like the next generation of boxers are inspired and, and athletes as well, fingers I, crossed. I thought you were saying you were looking forward to the 2032 for your career. How old would you be <laughs> when that rolls around? I'll be 35, so I would still be eligible, but I don't. it's a young man's sport, amateur boxing. I'd probably get the shit punched out of me. <laughs> <laughs> See, whereas jelly wrestling, you can go, you can go all the way through. <laughs> Yes. Hey, hey, Harry, where are you? So you've been at the Olympics. You're now in hotel quarantine. Uh, judging by the background, the set of Antics Roadshow. Where are you? <laughs> where are you at the moment? Uh, so I, I arrived today in hotel quarantine in Brisbane. It is pretty vintage behind me. Um, so it's my first night here. It's, um, yeah, it's going to be questionable for two weeks, but is what it is. I've stayed in worse. Now, Harry, famously, you've done a bit of ballet training as well, and ballet and boxing don't normally go hand in hand. Can you tell us a bit about your training? Yeah, so the ballet I started about two years ago, and I've always wanted to start it. Um, I come from a bit of a country town in, in Victoria, and, and um, I didn't want to tell too many people that I liked movies like High School Musical, Centre Stage, and <laughs> you know, Centre Stage. Unreal. Um, so I kept, that to my, I kept that to myself, and... My mum always knew that I liked ballet and in 2019 she got me a couple of ballet classes and I fell in love with it almost instantly. And have you ever met the reverse? Have you ever met a dancer who's too aggressive? Uh, <laughs> have you ever... No, actually, no. Um, um, I, I notice your nails, are your nails painted? Can I have a look at those? What, what, are, what have you got on there? All right, so these are the Olympic rings. I got them done in the village. So they're, each colour is the Olympic rings. Um, so yeah, I just got to, I was going to wear a dress to the opening ceremony just to sort of like break stereotypes. I feel like there's so much push on us as humans about roles that we have to play, but um, I'm grateful I didn't wear the dress. I didn't want to offend anyone or take the spotlight away from the other athletes on the team. But this is just my little way of just saying you can be whatever you want to be. Aww. That's a lovely, that's, absolutely. Yeah, that's so cute.
That's a lovely message, Harry. Although, sadly, being on Channel 10, we can't actually show your fingers anymore because of the <laughs> Olympic ring copyright. So. But it's a lovely message nonetheless. I, I can't say I expected this beautiful, poignant response from a guy called Dirty Harry. <laughs> <laughs> The boys back home are going to be loving this. <laughs> hey, well, speaking of the boys back home, Harry, before we let you go, have you got a message to your family and your fans? I just want to say a massive thank you, and I love you all to bits, and I can't wait to have a couple of beers with you, Dad. I only drink beers to be accepted by my dad, so I can't wait to have a couple of beers with you. On that note, we've got to take a break. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.